6a, 2x equals 12. Well, guys, 2x means 2 times by x is 12. So this number, a letter in algebra, is a number we don't know yet. So that, hopefully you can spot, must be 6. 2 times 6 gives you 12. Again, a, a num. Okay, if 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 you're not sure about marking, but come check it. I'll I'll check it afterwards. Something take away three is twelve. That must be fifteen, because fifteen take away three would give you the twelve. A lot of people put nine there because they just saw t minus three in a twelve and did twelve take away three. It's something take away three is twelve. That letter is a number we don't know yet. Okay, this one. Something times p plus 3 is 19. So if I undo this one step at a time, the first thing I would need to do is take away 3 from both sides. That gives me 4p is 16. Okay, if 4 lots of p is 16, what must each p be? That's 4 times by p is 16. 4 times 4 is 16, so p must be 4. And quite a few people did get that one right as well. Now, I don't think anyone got the last one right, because the last one's difficult. You've got unknowns on both sides. So what I need to do is get rid of the unknowns from one side. And I can do that by taking away 2t from both sides. Do a full correction for this, please. That gives me 4t minus 3 on this side and 3 on this side. Okay, I've just taken away this 2t, but I have to take it away from both sides. So that gives me 40 minus 3 equals 3. Now if I add 3 to both sides, I, in order to get, because I just want the t on one side, the amount of t's on one side, and all the other uh, numbers on the other side. So I got 4t equals 6. And what I have to do now is divide by 4. This is difficult, which is why you've got two marks for it. And then that gives me t equals 6 divided by 4. Okay, 6 divided by 4, 6 quarters, is the same as 1 whole and 2 quarters, which is the same as 1 and a half. And that was difficult, and I don't think anyone managed that one. Let's get, get, your, get these corrections in, please.